Hi, this is Wayne with Tri-County Locksmith Service, and this is the Stanley 24-7 uh, padlock. This is the 60mm, uh, so that means it's got 60mm shackle. Um, and basically, uh, it's been out and been used. Uh, it's been out in the field for about a year. I did a review on these, uh, and basically padlocks in general. Um, and discuss some, you know, some medicos and some Sergeant Greenleaf and some of the top end of the the security field. But those are way out of the price range. Those are, you know, in the five hundred to a thousand dollar price marker. I just kind of wanted to get some information about what you can get at the hardware store or online for around twenty to fifty dollars, somewhere right in there. And these shackled padlocks really seem to to shine and, and provide a lot more security features uh, than the master lock. I did a direct comparison with these and the master locks side by side and showed the benefits, the extended key, the more pins, the bidding, the cylinder, all of the attributes that make this a superior product. And now uh, basically what I did is I used this to lock up my trailer. Um, I had to drill the hole out on the tongue just a little bit more to accept that. Uh, but basically it either keeps the trailer locked down onto the ball or uh, keeps it locked so somebody can't come by and take it off and um, lock it to anything or, or hook onto it at all. Uh, so it goes in the snow, the mud, the dirt, the dust, um, gets a drug on the ground. Uh, you know, mostly snow and salt. Uh, the salt that's associated with the roads in the wintertime with trying to melt the snow and the calcium and all those uh, harmful agents uh, really kind of age this thing prior to what it would normally see abuse wise. Um, so now it's back, it's been out for a year, it's worked great, I haven't had any problems, any issues with it. It really has kind of been beat up and uh, it's, it's shined, nobody's picked it, nobody's breached it, nobody's cut it, nobody's done anything. A um, couple of the security features again are going to be this spinning uh, plate right here. This plate is basically going to spin if you try and use a large drill bit to drill that out. And then, by the same token, um, it's not going to let you uh, drill the shear line. Um, and the rest of this is all anti-drill too, so it just doesn't let you get to the shear line. Uh, that, coupled with the stainless steel pins that are in the cylinder itself, should you somehow breach that and get to those, those will veer you off uh, of that even. And it'll, you'll be able to drill the brass, the soft brass, but once you get one of those stainless steel pins, you're going to be able to veer off from side to side. And then, like I said, you can't use a, drill, a large drill bit and just rip everything out because of that plate right there. Uh, you, all this is made out of that same hardened steel, so you can't, um, you can't drill any of this stuff out either. Uh, very well put together lock. Um, very, very nice. Uh, it's a six pin SC1 keyway or SC4. Um, basically, you can make copies of this key. Uh, it comes with the plastic headed Stanley key, but in order to make a regular SC4 keyway work, um, you just simply need to shave the back of this down just a little bit. And that could be accomplished by hand, hand filing, or you could just, if you have the ability to uh, have access to a key machine, you can go ahead and um, put this key in backwards and just copy the back of the key directly. Uh, other than that, it's worked out really, really well. This one's got some pretty good bidding, uh, nine all the way up to three and everything in between, a couple sevens, and it just works great. I mean, I, mean, I really haven't had to clean it out or do too much with it. It's got lots of spring left in it. Um, it just snaps right open every time I use it, and it, it seems to work well. Uh, you can also use the Do Not Duplicate SC4 keyway. Again, just a six pin SC4. Uh, the nice thing about these is 90% of the people have um, Schlag locks or SC1 type keyways on their business or their home. And so you can actually key your padlock that goes to your trailer or your truck or whatever it is you're trying to lock up your storage unit to the same thing that your house is keyed to and uh, you don't have to carry an extra set of keys for your padlock. You always have your keys right on board. 
and it just seems to work out extremely extremely nicely uh, it also allows you to put the spool pins in barrel pins it does come with two spool pins um, but you know I of course I always like to take it apart see what's inside and see if we can't make it a little more tricky just because that's what I do um, but you can see the only reason that that back side needs to be cut out on your SC4 key blank is to allow it to bypass that shroud, uh, that anti-drill shroud right there. So you can see how tight that fits. If you did not uh, take that out and they're even, that will go ahead and hang up and hit. So definitely approve this lock. Um, it's not a high security medico. It's not a multi-lock. It's not a Sergeant Greenleaf military padlock. It's not an ABUS disc retainer lock. Uh, however, for what it is, um, I think they're extremely worth the money. Uh, for between $20 and $50, they have a variety of sizes, some with the shackle shroud, some without the shackle shroud, and I think it's a great lock, and I think it's going to work for a long, long time. And I think they just have addressed so many more issues than the competing master lock uh, that that they're great um, and I would definitely buy this over that any day of the week and recommend it as well so for more information go to www.tricountylocksmithservice.com